Hey guys, Papercombie64 here, and today I will be doing my 3DS, my DS, and my 3DS downloads collection video. So basically, I'll be going over all of them, and all together for the actual games, like not downloads, I have about 20 games actually, probably a little bit more than that. And then I got like about 20 downloads too. So I'll be just going over a brief description for all the games, and except for the downloaded ones, I'll just go through them, because then it will take forever. But anyways, let's get started with the first 3DS game that I have here, which is Super Mario 3D Land. Super Mario 3D Land is pretty much my favorite game on the 3DS as of right now, and it probably will always be until Paper Mario comes out. But this game is just awesome. I really like how they put a lot of new gameplay features in there, and they put like a 2D Mario game in a 3D world, which I really like about the game. So Super Mario 3D Land, one of the must-have games for the 3DS. Next up I have Mario Kart 7. This is also one of the must-have games for the 3DS. Pretty much one of the best racer games I've ever played. Also one of the best Mario Kart games I've ever played. I really recommend this game because they put a lot of new features in here. Like they put the underwater and they put the uh, some new characters in there. And they put the hang gliders which are, you can see right there on Luigi. He is one of the hang gliders. So Mario Kart 7, one of the best games on the 3DS. Just like I said for Super Mario 3D Land. So I really recommend this game. Definitely worth the $40 new. Alright, so this game is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, this game is very good. It's a remake of the original one for N64, and they, I really think they updated the graphics to make it look really good. And this game is just amazing. I haven't beat it yet, though, so I can't give a full opinion on it, but great game. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Re definitely recommend this if you like RPGs. Okay, so this next game is Pilot Rin Wings Resort, and this game is was a more, like, underrated game, like... I thought it was okay, but it got kind of boring at times because there's not there wasn't really much to do in it. Like you pretty much just fly around, do missions the whole time. So there's not really much to do, but it was just an alright game. So Pilot Wings Resort, it wasn't a, a release game, and the 3DS did have one of the worst release um, dates, like out of all systems that have had a release date. But anyways, it was just an alright game. It's Pilot, Pilot Wings Resort. Alright, so next up is Pac-Man and Galaga Dimensions. In this game, I pretty much just got while I was at the store because I, I haven't actually really heard, heard about it that much. But the thing that really got me to buy this was this awesome box art because, because it just looked really good. So I thought I'd buy it. It was a pretty good buy. It was like 20 bucks or whatever at Best Buy. So anyways, the game is pretty fun. It's pretty much just a collection of Pac-Man and Galaga games. And they put a few new games in there as well. So it's a pretty good game, Pac-Man and Galaga Dimensions. Okay, the next game I have is Rayman 3D, and this game is pretty much just a remake of Rayman 2, which I don't really like because they already made like about like four remakes of that game already, so I would have preferred a whole new one. But as for the game, it's an alright game, except again, it should have been like a whole new Rayman game, but I guess for a release game it was alright, so this was one of the games that I got released. So the controls are pretty good, and I do like the graphics, which look pretty awesome, but Rayman 3D, just an okay game. Okay, so the last 3DS game I have here is Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. And this game I also got it released along with Rayman 3D. And I really like this game. I played this game probably about like 15 to 18 hours, I think. And about 10 of those were from online because I really like this game. One of the best fighter games on the 3DS as of right now. So you should definitely buy this game if you like fighting games. Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Okay, so moving on to the normal DS game, I have Super Mario 64 DS. This is one of the first Mario games on the DS, and I really like it. I like that they added extra stars in it, so one of the games that a lot of people who have a DS own, Super Mario 64 DS. Oh, this next game doesn't have a case, but I do have the cartridge, and it is Mario Kart DS. This game is pretty much one of the games that everyone who has a DS has, or has eventually had. And this game is just great. It is my favorite DS game of all time, in my opinion. And, yeah, I just really like it. Just Mario Kart DS. Gotta love that game. Okay, so next up is Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. In this game, I really enjoyed. I mean, I like how you can make, like, custom levels and everything. That's my favorite part about the game. And the story mode is also pretty good. So, I really enjoyed this game. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. WarioWare Do It Yourself. This is pretty much one of my favorite games on the DS. And I actually, I played this game for tons of hours. This is probably my most played DS game of all time, and out of my 3DS games and DS games. I just really love this game. I like how you can make your own music, that's my favorite part about it. And I also like that you can make your own games. I did make a few pretty good ones, if anyone wants my friend code for this game, I will add it to you so you can play some of my games that I made. So this game is just amazing game, WarioWare DIY. 
Okay, so this game is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. Now, I haven't really gotten, got to play this game that much because I got it for about five bucks, so I didn't really think I'd be playing it that much. So I played it about two hours, and I kind of just stopped playing it. I think I might start playing it again if I get bored this summer, probably. Like, I don't really have time to play it, like, during school because it's not really a game worth playing that much, in my opinion. But during summer, I'll probably play it and probably beat it. Next up is Kirby Mass Attack. This is a pretty good game. I do think the Kirby games are kind of getting worse and worse. I haven't tried the Wii one yet, and I really do want to try it. But hopefully that one's good. But this one was just an alright Kirby game. I don't really like how you couldn't, like, change your power-ups or anything. So I played it probably about 10 hours, and I didn't beat it yet. But I'll eventually beat it. So it's an alright game, Kirby Mass Attack. Okay, next up is Metroid Prime Hunters. I think this is a great first-person shooter on the DS, and... It's actually a Nintendo first-person shooter, which I really liked it. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would enjoy it. The only thing I can't figure out is how to save it. I know I sound really stupid, but I, I kind of stopped it because of that. But if I can find out how to save it, I might get into it again. But I did play a good, like, five hours out of it. Okay, this game is the Club Nintendo Reward Game & Watch Collection. I did actually open this one because I thought it would be better than it was, but it actually isn't too good of a game. It's more of a collector's item, so that's why the next one I got, which was Game & Watch Collection 2, I didn't open, but this game is just a collector's item that you can get from Club Nintendo. Okay, so this is Game Watch Collection 2. This is sealed because I know it'll be worth a lot of money in a few years, maybe about 10, 20 years. It'll be worth probably around 100 bucks, maybe sealed. So I didn't open it yet, so I don't know how it is, but yeah, Game Watch Collection 2 from Club Nintendo. Plants vs. Zombies. This is a pretty good game. Uh, I do prefer the phone version because I do have it on my phone because it has better graphics and it has more... Uh, things to do, but this is a pretty good game, uh, but again, the phone version is better, so basically you just gotta get your plants to kill the zombies, and yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, this game my mom actually bought me for about five bucks, and this game, I usually just play this game, like, when we're waiting at the doctor or the dentist or something while we're waiting in the waiting room, because it's a pretty fun game to play multiplayer, you only need one DS, which is pretty good, so Wheel of Fortune, a pretty good game for the, uh, DS. So the last DS game I have is Theme Park, and this is pretty much just a really bad version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Just a really bad game. I played about five minutes of it. It sucked. I gave up on it. So yeah, I would prefer playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. I can't wait for the one that's coming out on 3DS. But as for this game, it sucks. Don't buy it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my downloaded titles that I got. So let me just wait a few seconds for it to power on. I don't know how good quality this will be. Oh, here they are. Let me just go a little closer in. So they start about right here. I got my AR games. Face Raiders. 3D Classics Excite Bite. Bike. I mean, Zelda Four Swords. Super Mario Land. Ambassador C Certificate. Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3. Super Mario Kart. I mean, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Wario Land 4. Great game. WarioWare Mega Micro Games, The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, Metroid Fusion, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, F Zero Maximum Velocity, Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones, Super Mario Brothers, Yoshi, Donkey Kong Jr., The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2 Adventure of, of Link, Metroid, NES Open Tournament Golf, Wrecking Crew, uh, Ice Climber, Balloon Flight, and that's it for the downloads I have, so, yeah. Okay, so now I'll just show you all my accessories, so I have my AR cards, two extra 3DS styluses, some bigger stylus that, like, clicks up like a pen, that's pretty cool. I got a red and black, I mean, a blue and black stylus from when I had my DSi. A 3DS game holder, it holds up to or games, so that's pretty cool. Two of these things, these hold one 3DS game or a DS game. A cleaning cloth to clean my screen and my 3DS. Of course I got my AC adapter charger. And here's what I hold everything in my uh, DS case, so that's it for the accessories. Okay, so that is my Nintendo DS and 3DS collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. These are all the games on my shelf. So anyways, that is it for this video, so I'll see you guys later next time. Bye.